everyone, I know a lot of you are running an agency or you're a freelancer and you're managing multiple different websites. So in this video, I actually have a real treat for you, which is actually GoDaddy's pro offering here. Yes, they are today's sponsor, but I had a great time using them. And I think it can make a huge difference in how you run your operations, but also how you grow your revenue. So what GoDaddy offers here is basically an all-in-one solution for you. So for operations, you can do things like batch update your sites. So if you want to update a plugin for 10 or 20 different sites, you can do that from the dashboard. You don't have to log into all these different sites. There's an uptime monitor built in. So if it goes down, you get notified. There are backups and client reports. And then there are also some options to grow your revenue. So you can resell hosting, for example, or other products. And in fact, it can be a very white labeled experience. So you can brand it with your own logo, for example. In fact, GoDaddy can even help you grow as well by offering certain leads. We'll talk more about that later. Both for operations as well as growing your business. I think this is a really compelling offer. And in this video, I just want to give you an overview of it so you can see uh, how powerful it is and uh, consider using it for your own business. All right, so here I'm in the hub. This is a dashboard and it's meant as one centralized place where you manage the sites and your clients. There are a bunch of things that we can do in here, but let me show you where you would start, which is probably by adding a site. So I can add a site from here or here on the left side, I can go to this sites view. So here I can manage sites. Let's actually get started here. Now, actually, if you have your website hosted with GoDaddy, it can automatically connect that here. And actually that's what I did. So I already had a WordPress website here with GoDaddy, uh, some career advice demo website. And that is now part of this list here. Now it's possible that you have some websites not hosted on GoDaddy. And the powerful thing is that you can still add them as a site here, even custom coded websites. So for example, I run this educational website, bytegrad.com. I can add it here as a website as well. So if I do this and just continue here, all right, so now the site is added successfully. It will ask you to add this site to a client. I'll show you that in a second. For now, we will just continue to the dashboard. Okay, so now if I go to my overview of sites, I have two sites here. Right, so you can bring in all of the sites that you're managing, could be dozens of different sites and you get one overview here. Now, what can I do with these here? Well, I can easily go to the admin dashboard and there is also an overview for this particular site here in the hub. I'll show you that in a second. And then here we have some tools. So there are uh, security checks, performance checks, and an uptime monitor. I personally really like the uptime monitor because previously I had to use a separate tool for that. So it's really nice that it comes built in here. So let's say I do want to activate an uptime monitor. I can activate it right here. All right, and there we go. With just two clicks, I now have an uptime monitor watching my site because of course we want to be notified if the website goes down and it works for uh, websites that I haven't hosted uh, GoDaddy as well. In this case, I would need a site maintenance pack, but it is also possible to do it for other websites. You can see the uh, GoDaddy hosted websites. So that tool comes out of the box here. Now I can also activate performance checks. So yeah, I will activate this as well, as well as the security checks. All right, so now I have performance checks and security checks here. Let's actually click on this. So here I see the dashboard for the individual site, right? So for this ByteGrad coaching website. So it shows me a combination of, of data data here, right? So I enabled an uptime monitor here, right? So I have a, car a card for that here. We have a performance card here and a security card. So it's just an overview here. If you want to dive deeper into one of these specifically, for example, the uptime monitor here, it shows you that here as well, right? We can also set some settings here. So you can monitor how often it should uh, ping the website essentially. Um, you can even do keyword monitoring, right? Maybe a page on your site needs to contain a particular keyword, a Black Friday sale, right? So then you know that your Black Friday sale page is actually working, right? There's also a tab here for the performance check. R you can routinely check the performance, see if everything is properly loading and how fast it is. And of course, we also want a security check. We have that as well. Now here we see analytics, so we can connect that as well. And also an option here for SEO. This may be really important for your clients because they may get a lot of their customers uh, search traffic so if you can show them a report or some data on how they are on how their website is performing on that uh, that can really help them out right so in this case um, let's say career coaching or something like that is my keyword now I'm tracking that keyword here Right, so here I am now tracking the keywords. Right, so this is also traditionally uh, something that you would need a separate tool for, but it's actually built in here 
and we'll even show you how your competitors are doing as well. So this is something that clients often want to know. And GoDaddy now also offers something called Arrow. This can help you optimize this site, uh, mostly using AI. So actually it found six optimizations here. And if you click on that, you will see all sorts of uh, suggestions they make. And this can be SEO, but actually a lot of the issues is simply in the text or content, right? So the actual copy on your website can make a big change in conversion rate. So it's actually really useful that with AI, you can, you can quickly uh, get some suggestions here on how to reword this, for example. So here I currently have expert career coaching for developers, right? but they suggest to expand a bit on that. Right? Same with keyword usage, call to action analysis. This is all built in and you can easily show your client, hey, I have some ideas. We could improve it this way. So I think that's a, a really powerful set of options that you get for each site that you connect here. I was looking at this one. All right, actually I found another site I had with managed WordPress hosting here on GoDaddy. So there's another option here, which is for backups. I can manage that from here as well. It used to be a major source of hassle, but it's just a few clicks here. And actually, if I click on this, I do need to enable the backups. Okay, so then it's going to do the first uh, backup right here. The other thing that you can do here is website reports. So if you want to update your client on what happened the past two weeks, let's say, you can create a professional looking report and get it sent to them so they are up to date. I know what if you have a couple dozen different WordPress sites that you are managing here and now you need to update a plugin or you need to change something in the theme. This was previously a nightmare scenario because you would have to log into potentially dozens of different sites and manually update it in each of them. Because most likely if you're designing or building sites for clients, you're using a similar uh, tech stack, right? So you're, you're using similar plugins and themes because those are the ones that you're familiar with and that you like. So if you do need to change one of them, it affects many different sites, right? So here, what I can do is I can select multiple sites here and I can do bulk updates. So I can go to plugins, for example, I can see the plugins that are installed on the sites and I can say, you know what, this one, maybe I want to do something with that or activate or deactivate plugins. I can add new plugins in one go here as well. Same for themes. So I can see the themes that are being, that are installed and also can add new themes. I can manage users here, actually also really helpful that I can do that from here. And we also have code snippets that are shared across sites. All right, so that's the list of sites that we have. So that's here under sites. If I go to the home here, we will see the overview here of our hub. Right, so here uh, you will see your sites. If there's something related going on with security or backups, you will see that right as you log in. The next thing you often wanna do is build out your client's list because these sites belong to somebody. You can connect a site to a client, get started here. So let's say, right, so we can set up a client here. Often with clients in the past, you had to, if you wanted to do something for them, you had to share passwords over email, back and forth. They've made it much smoother experience. So you can actually request that you can do that on behalf of the user. So you can actually make it so that you can manage and even pr purchase products on behalf of the user. And, and then you don't even need passwords or usernames, right? If, if you don't wanna do purchasing on behalf of the user, you can still manage their product, right? Like their hosting package or their domains. All right, so here now I have a client. Now I can assign a site to them. So this can be those sites that we just connected. So in this case, let's say this one belongs to this client. Just to show you what that would look like on the client side, they would receive an email like this they're being requested to grant access, right? So then they can log in and grant you access to their products to manage them or purchase on behalf of them. Now then what you can see here is there are a couple of options now. So you can shop for the client and you can see the client product and the client side, of course, that we just connected. And actually you can request access from here as well. So if you've already created the client, you can actually nudge them to grant access again. You can decide which access level you wanna request from. And then you can also customize the message here. You can do that from here as well. It can also be the other way around. So you can, the client themselves can also invite to access. So they can do it on their side as well. Either way, once they've granted access, you can view their products in here, or what you can do is you can shop for the client because clients are often maybe a little bit confused because there's quite a few options or they, they just don't, they're not, they're not, they're not an expert in it. So they trust you to come up with some good recommendations here for the types of packages that they should go with, right? So I could come up with a domain for them or even a complete starter pack here. So if I think, you know what, they wanna sell online, uh, WooCommerce would be a good option. And there's all these things in there. I can add that to the cart. Maybe I pick some other things from all of these options here, and then I could continue. And then here it asks me, who is this order for, right? So here I could pick a client that I have or send this card to the client, right? So then they can 
pay. We can customize the message and then I can send the card. And just to show you again how that would look like from the client side, here they would receive an email, uh, you recommended some product, I've put together some products here and then they can go ahead and go through the checkout and actually pay, right? So then your clients, they don't have to worry about the exact products because, you know, it's quite overwhelming for them sometimes and they don't know exactly what they always need. Uh, great feature there. You can also invoice your clients directly here from the dashboard, really nice as well. Right, so, so far we've seen how we can easily manage our operations basically inside the dashboard. So now we have more time, we have more energy, and of course we wanna grow our business, right? So now let's take a look at some of the options here to grow the business. So GoDaddy has a reseller program. So you can actually also sell those products with your own brand to your clients or to other people. And right, so you can build an online storefront, you can customize this with your own logo with your own branding right so then it wouldn't even look like it's part of godaddy it's white labeled as it's called you can then set your own prices and the payments are also handled for you now one of the most mind-blowing features that they have is then if your customer has a question and they can they can actually call support with GoDaddy and GoDaddy will actually uh, still deliver that white label experience, right? So I think that just goes to show how far they're willing to go to help you out here with growing your business. Now, what are the things that you can resell? So of course they have domain names and web hosting, but it's actually more than that. So clients want email, a website builder, SSL certificates. If you have more technical people, maybe they want a VPS or like servers, uh, website security, and of course also managed hosting for WordPress. All right, so you can set the prices yourself. So these are not, these are not predetermined prices. You can just control that. You can even offer special sales and promotions. So I would highly recommend you check out their reseller program. You can access it from the hub dashboard here as well. Now here under benefits, there are a couple of other options as well. You can set up a pro profile to present yourself. There are some deals, but there's also this agency program. So GoDaddy is a big player. A lot of people trust it and so they have a lot of people that are looking for services and they may give you some of those leads. There are some conditions around this and you can read more about it here on their website. Now, as of recording, just to get a sense of the uh, criteria here, there's basically different tiers. And so it depends a bit on what you fall into, but but this can actually help you grow your business, not just a one-time bump. Some of, the, some of that revenue may actually be recurring. And so you can potentially connect with new clients or just attract qualified leads. To get access to it, you do need to apply and get approval. And then you can network and potentially get matched with clients. They actually have a dedicated agency uh, success manager as well. But I think it really shows that yeah, GoDaddy is really trying to help you out here. We already saw with the white label experience how far they're willing to go. Even with support, they're trying to offer it as a white labeled service. But they're also able to potentially pass you along some leads so you can actually grow your business. Right, so you can apply for that here in the Hub dashboard as well. Now, as of recording, they have a new tab here as well for exploring and shopping some of their services. So if, in case you didn't know, GoDaddy actually has a really interesting event auction type of marketplace now as well. I've looked at this and some of these domains actually are premium. And so if you're in the market for a domain or you're trying to sell a domain, I highly recommend you check this out as well. You can find it here under domain auctions. And then here you can take a look at all the other services they have as well. So in a previous video, we already discussed the GoDaddy website builder and some of the other things that they offer. Very powerful platform to design, build websites, host them, get a domain name for them. So by using the hub dashboard, you can bring a lot of order and structure and clarity to, to your potentially chaotic uh, setup right now because, well, with different clients, there's a bunch of chaos usually involved. But with the dashboard here, it streamlines a lot of management tasks, even allows you to grow as well. So I highly recommend you check out the GoDaddy Pro link in the description and sign up for the hub dashboard. You can get access to the hub dashboard for free. So just go ahead and try it out. In any case, hope this helps you out with your business. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.